Hello friends, welcome to this new video. Remember about one year ago I made a video about these smart switches that are HomeKit compatible. For only 5 euros bought on AliExpress and I really like them. Uh, I have about 5 in my house now, 2 outside and 3 inside. But since the great HomeKit upgrade in December, they stopped working. So HomeKit doesn't recognize them any longer. I posted a video on how to fix this problem and indeed it worked for a couple of days but it isn't stable enough to be really reliable as it was before. So I did a new search on AliExpress again and I found two new kind of switches. This really small one. I was really amazed about the small size. Here you can see how small this thing is. So you already have the HomeKit code on the side, the connectors here. And with this kind of switch, you can wire your input, your output, and even a wall switch. Really handy. Uh, I installed one already outside for some weeks now, and it worked just fine. It never failed on me. Great advantage above these. These have to be linked through Do Home, so their own dedicated application. Well, this one is directly integrated in HomeKit with the code. Really cool. I paid about 7 euros for this one with free shipping. I also found this one, the Miros switch. It is more popular, but it is more expensive as well. But I have to say that the quality is higher. So this comes with some screws, a leaflet, and here it is. So also a big one, like the Do Home switch. I think this is the knockoff of this one, but you can already see that it is more refined. We also have the home kit on here, so the mirror switch is also directly integrated into your home kit. The wiring is done the same. So in the little leaflet, you have some HomeKit explanation. So as you can see, you can still wire it to your Android device as well. But if you are a HomeKit user, like it says here, you can directly add it into HomeKit. So the Mirror Smart Switch comes for about 17 euros. So Way more expensive, but for inside, I trust this one a little bit better. For outside, I don't mind to do it with a cheap as switch. But for now, I'm really happy. I already connected two of those inside as well, and they work flawless. So blues go to neutral. And the brown one goes to the live wire. It's well secure. Put the cover on top. And there you go. So now I'm going to attach this side in to the power source and this to my device. And when it gets power, we're going to do the setup procedure. 
So you can see that the Wi-Fi light is still blinking because it isn't connected, but it has power. So there's my home kit. Add a new device. I've done the photo. There you go. Add to home. And you see the light stopped blinking, so now it is connected to the home kit. I can choose where the lights are, give it a name, I use it as a lamp, no automations for now. And there it is. I forgot to delete the old one. And as you can see, the old one is still not reacting while the new one is on. This series, allume la vitrine. So Siri said in French that the vitrine is on and the other vitrine doesn't respond. This Siri, allume la vitrine. So pity that the old do home switches don't work any longer, but this new one do really work well. And the most important thing is that the home kit works flawless again. So I hope you like this little video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You really help me if you subscribe to the channel. And all the uh, links to the products are in the video description. See you in the very next video. Bye bye.